Kia ora, this is a quick video about functional modelling using some cardboard scissors, pencil, metal ruler, craft knife and masking tape. I had some inspiration from Alva Alto and I then have cut out some shapes. Um, here I am cutting out an angular surface which um, I've actually decided to curve through rolling it around. Um, I have to distress the cardboard because it's quite um, firm and I can even use easy tools like my pencil to, to curve it. There we go, it stands quite nice and um, firmly and keeps that curved shape or form. Going to cut out some other um, surfaces as well to use later. Now, through this whole process, I don't actually have any ideas preformed. What I'm doing is I'm cutting out some shapes to use, to match up together, and as I'm making, I am generating my ideas. I don't have ideas as I go. Um, I mean, from before I start, I, I generate them as I go. So I've, I've picked out a couple of things that I appreciate in the design that I've looked at, so the kind of framing and hollow of, of um, the frames within the design and these strong panels that are curved. So here we go, I, I kind of cut out a, a block that's a bit of a frame and then I've got this curved surface and I've kind of matched them together and discovered that one can be the back and one can be the surface that um, the user would sit on. So very easy matching those two together. Next idea. I think I might cut this in two and think about like curving some parts, um, see how that goes, um, to have like a middle flat part and two curves on the side. Um, I can score, so I'm not cutting all the way through my cardboard, but scoring it with a light cut so I can get a nice clean bend. Now, using your pencil to plan out um, lines that you're cutting is really helpful. Otherwise, it's easy to kind of not cut out the form that you want to. Okay, so keep your pencil handy as you are model making. Um, but also, you want to be working quickly because these are just quick ideas you don't, that don't need to be perfect. Once we have an idea that we really want to use. So here I am playing around, figuring out what, how they could fit together, what they could do. I need to get some curves that are a little bit more, that are much stronger. I've decided that these, the frame parts could be the legs and actually I could fold this over the opposite direction to become some kind of arm. It needs to be a tighter curve, so I'm using the pencil. And here we go, they're starting to take form come like an armchair, hopefully wrap around the body nicely. Now see the arms aren't staying together nicely so I think I might cut a, a small strip that's going to hold them together. Of course if it was a different material maybe it would, it could be like set um, moulded plastic or moulded um, plywood and it would stay together but of course this is card so I'm going to make a strip at the back to match it up. Fold it up. Oh, I realised I've stuck it around the wrong way. I need to stick it on the right way. So a little bit of masking tape's holding that down, keeping it nice and um, in place. So we probably want that um, back slice to, or little strip to, to be curved as well, not straight, so that it hold and fit the fit the back of um, the user nicely. There we go, I think that looks quite good. It just needs to tighten up those arms. And it uses that frame. So two different ideas generated from the same kind of starting point. Here's the final little shots. Thanks for watching.